What's going on? This is Minky Twist from Wingsound.com. And on this clip here, I'm gonna be showing you a basic overview of Cubase and how to uh, start projects, bring sounds in, and how to just really get started and make it all happen and use Cubase, which is one of my favorite programs. So the first step is, obviously you open up Cubase, which we already did. Then you're gonna go to File and uh, open up a new project. And uh, you know, you could start with any one of these, but I like to start with an empty track and add things along as I need them so I don't have a bunch of MIDI and audio tracks randomly open with nothing on them. It keeps it a little more clean and neat for me. The first thing you're gonna need to do is pull over your toolbar and you're gonna wanna put in how many, how many beats per minute you want your track to be, depending on what style of music it is. For what I do, I'm gonna go to 130. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is pop open whatever kind of track we're gonna start with. Let's say uh, we're gonna start with an audio loop. You right click on the left section here, you go to audio track, go to OK, and it'll pop your audio track up on the left. Now if we wanna add a MIDI track, we right click on the left side, and we go to add a MIDI track. And there's your MIDI track right there. Okay, so now let's pull in some audio. So we go to the audio, we highlight it, so that's where it'll pop in our um, samples. Whatever's highlighted is where it'll bring it, unless if you're on a MIDI and you're doing audio, it'll automatically open up a new audio track with the sample on there. So we're gonna click on audio here. We go to file, scroll down to import. You gotta specify what you wanna import. Now if you wanna import audio from a CD, you go to audio CD and you pull, extract that off of the CD, but we're gonna go to audio file. And then you gotta find your folder that has your audio in it. Here's something important to know. You got your snap right here. You can turn your snap on and off. Now when you turn the snap off, you can place the sample anywhere, but it's not necessarily gonna be in the right place or on time, cause it doesn't put it in a specific location. Now when you turn the snap on, it'll put it right on the loop, as you see. Places it right in the exact spot. So you got your snap to grid here. Now you could adjust your snap to grid. If you have the screen a smaller size, you keep it on bar, and this way it goes right to the numbers. Now if you make the screen larger, and you wanna move it over, let's say halfway in between the one and two, you can't on bar. So what you're gonna have to go to is use quantize, and then you could adjust where you want it. Uh, one fourth, one eighth, one sixteenth, one thirty-two. What you have here is your colors. You could pick a color for a track, so you could separate all the tracks and be able to visually see them easier. And we move to the left, you got uh, this uh, auto scroll here, which means if the track is playing and it goes beyond the point where you could see, it automatically moves the screen for you. And then uh, to the left of that, we have all your tools. And then uh, as you go further to the left, you have your uh, mixer. This opens up the mixer, okay? This opens up your audio pool window. You can see all the audio you've imported in. All right, now that we went through a few things and we have our audio and MIDI tracks opened up, that's a basic overview and you can go from here and start building a track, adding more MIDI and audio and layering and whatever great ideas you have. I hope these clips were able to help you out with what you want to do in Cubase and help you move in the right direction with this music. Now, if you have any more questions, you can reach me at NickyTwist at Wingsound.com, the new social video network for audio creators.